Lumion 12 has arrived. What's new, what's noteworthy, and what features missing? In this video, I'm gonna highlight six of my favorite new Lumion 12 features. Then I'm gonna share with you a feature request I've been asking for for five years and show you how I work around it with what I've got today. Am I the only one who needs this? Our first new feature is that Lumion eye candy that keeps us all coming back for more. The new volumetric spotlights effect can be found in the lighting category in both the photo and animation studios. Once you add the effect, click the select lights button. Select some spotlights, click the checkbox to save your selection. Now adjust the density, intensity, and fall off sliders to cast a hazy atmospheric vibe. Let's hop back into build mode so I can show you the new color temperature slider for lights. Isolate the lights category. Using the select tool, pick a spotlight expand the advanced options and select all identical objects. Now click the color swatch and then the Kelvin tab. Drag the slider or even better click on a preset. I used to just haphazardly add a little warmth or color to my lights, but now I have presets that take the guesswork out of it and make my lighting more realistic. I love this new slider. Now here's a nice little addition. The improved autumn colors effect can be found in the sky and weather tab. Hold on. This isn't necessarily a feature request, it's really just a request. Can we please stop renaming these categories? Give this video a like if you agree with me. The new presets run along the top. Choose from green, okra, or red. In Lumion 12, you can target all layers, which means you don't have to meticulously organize your scene with layers. Although, it's never a bad idea. These other sliders often do more harm than good. Seems to me that a preset combined with target all layers is everything I'm gonna need moving forward. This next feature is very insignificant, but very cool. Let's give our audience a hint at where this project is located. Within the content library, isolate the transport category. Using the select tool, click on a car. Then click here to change the license plates. That's new in Lumion 12. There's a ton of options for countries all over the world. This project is in Denver, Colorado, and now my license plates communicate that clearly. Eh, that's a stretch, but it is cool. And notice that when you change one license plate, all of the other cars in my scene update too. So an honest assessment of Lumion 12, it's a little light on major features, but it does have a ton of little improvements that combined are pretty significant. Improved workflow, organization, and usability has been sprinkled into every corner of this release. So is it worth upgrading? Of course, this is the latest and greatest. If you don't, you'll be running old tech all year and then pay double next November anyway. And is it worth buying new? My God, if you don't have Lumion yet, this program is going to blow your mind. If Lumion 12 is your first introduction, you're getting every feature, effect, and tool from every version of Lumion. I'm excited for you. As of Lumion 7, I'm pretty much satisfied. Since then, it's just gravy on top, but it sure is nice when they make improvements like this. Let's take a look at the nature category. Before we go any further, give that scroll wheel on your mouse a spin. Ah, that's nice. Navigating with the mouse wheel is so much faster than clicking on those little arrows. Also, notice that we now have collections. Click on one to open a bundle of similar objects. One more thing, when you select an object to place, there's now a detailed information card with tags. Click on a tag to quickly track down complementary objects. So here's my final favorite new feature in Lumion 12, and it leads right into my feature request. Open the utilities category. There you'll find the new character billboard object. Hold the L key while placing to scale the figure up to 1.8. Why isn't this just the default scale? Whatever. Click to place it. Switch to the select tool. Keyboard shortcut is M. Then click here to load a texture. This new billboard object is great for quick 2D cutout people, and even trees. Now, if you're looking for some images to load, check out our Crowdsource 2D cutout character library, which has 42 different characters, each with around 35 poses, netting over 1,400 clean cutout character images. And of course, we have a free trial pack. Here's the problem with placing characters. They look great from this angle, but if I scoot over here, they're all jumbled up. You could use some layer trickery and duplicate models. What a hassle to set that all up, especially for multiple cameras. What I'd like to do is just add the move effect in photo mode so I could rearrange my character's location for each camera. Well, unfortunately, the move effect is blocked in the photo studio. So here's what I do. I use the animation studio to render stills. Capture each desired camera as a one second clip on the timeline. Add the move effect, click the edit button, Rearrange your characters to better fit the scene. Repeat for each camera. Now click render. Choose image sequence. Set the output quality to four stars. This matches the same quality as photo mode. 
choose keyframes, then render at 4K. One keyframe per second will net one image per clip. You can use this technique to better arrange any objects for a specific view. So why don't we have the move effect in the photo studio? Do you agree with me or am I just making it too complicated? I do that sometimes. What are your feature requests? What are you working around? Let me know in the comments. So let me ask you this, are you satisfied or perhaps you want more? Check out this video to take this technique to the max by adding variation control to also change a character's pose on each camera. Or check out this playlist to dig in on the full Lumion 12 workflow. These videos are on Lumion's channel, but you might recognize the host and studio. Either way, I'll see you there.